guys, so my name is Holly and today I'm back with another video. So in today's video I'm going to review my Bulgari Serpenti bag which is a collaboration with Mary Catherine Zo. This bag is from the Metamorphosis collection. So while I was not able to purchase this bag in the Bulgari store because by the time I found out about this bag it had already sold out, I ended up finding it on the pre-lived market. Um, after a couple of months of searching and even buying a fake bag unbeknownst to me, I eventually found this bag and she is everything I thought she would be and more. So um, this bag is in black leather. It's ultra soft quilted Napa body leather and it is just really beautiful. So it doesn't dent. It retains its puffiness and it just holds up very well. I've used this bag for quite a few um, in probably the last two months or three months. I've used this bag like constantly and I love her. <laughs> She's like literally everything. So I will turn to the side. This is the side profile and then we have the back, which doesn't have a back pocket, and then we have the other side. Now, back to the front, we do have a beautiful snake as the handle, and I just love the way that it curves. It's very sleek, sophisticated, a very innovative design. I have not seen any bags that look like this, which is probably one of, I'm just gonna move that out of the way, but this is probably one of the reasons that this bag um, ranks so high on my list because of the design and the fact that it is very much the only of its kind. It's one of a kind. Um, so here at the front, we have this beautiful snake head enclosure, which is Mary Catronzo's interpretation of the Bulgari logo and the Bulgari snake head clasp. So we have crystal eyes on the front and we also have those same crystals on the handle. On the inside of the bag, I tend to open my bag like this just because I don't want my nails to poke it and I do like to have like um, that almond shape. So I'm just gonna do that, flip it open and we have the inside flap which you can see some scuffing and some scratches which are normal because this bag did have two previous owners. And then the inside of the bag, which is in pretty good condition. We have one small pocket here, which can fit like maybe a compact mirror. Then towards the inside of the bag, it can fit a cell phone. I have the iPhone 11. I know it's a little older, but I still love that model. Um, and it can fit like your card case, lip balm, um, lipstick. And I have also fit a pack of tissues in here. So very beautifully done. Um, the snake head closure or the clasp is actually magnetic. So you don't have to worry about hitting the right spot and closing it and damaging the um, purse if it's, you know, not magnetic. But take a look at this. I think this is pretty cool. Not all bags have that. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this aside and talk about the documents. So this was the original receipt from the real oil. The um, my so the person I bought it from on Trade Easy, she was nice enough to send this to me. And then we have the ring code over here. And I think this was just the essay that um, the original owner bought the bag from. This is the care manual, instructional manual um, for this bag. And then the last is the Bulgari Touch. So if you download the Bulgari Touch app on your phone, um, and then you use your phone to tap the RFID on the back, it's going to bring up this bag. So it should bring up Metamorphosis Collection and have this exact bag once it pings and identifies the bag. This is the authentication card. Um, or not even a card, but it's the way that they authenticate the item. So if you have a fake item, just as an example, um, what you will see sometimes is it either won't pick up the bag or the website, or in some cases, the fake bag can actually bring up the Bulgari website, but it will not take you to the actual bag. 
So just as a heads up, um, I'm actually going to film another video regarding this, but I thought it was pretty um, interesting that I found these differences with the bags, a fake versus a real. Okay, so next up, I do want to show you how to detach the handle and add on the chain straps. But um, really quickly, sometimes it can be a little difficult to do um, just because of the nature of the bag. It is smaller, you don't want to scratch the insides, etc. But I will do so anyways. If it takes like a minute or so, I'm so sorry, just fast forward, okay? So one down. Okay, I got it off with ease. Yay! Okay, so I'm going to close the back and then I'm going to show you the beautiful chain strap. So take a look at this baby. Absolutely beautiful. I just love that it's kind of like a braided design. And then I want you to show how I want to show you the ends of it right over there. They look like little torpedoes. <laughs> okay, and then you just stick them in here. And then one over here. I'm sorry about that. And then you can see the bag and the length of the chain. And this is it. So this bag tends to fall on your hip right over here. So it's not long by any means, but it does the job in keeping the bag safe at a shorter length and it's very like a European style. Um, all right, so that is actually it for my video. Um, thank you so much for watching. It is always a pleasure to do these bag uh, review videos with you and basically anything luxury related. Um, hit like, please subscribe, and let me know what you think. Comment down below. And until the next video, see you soon. Bye!